Okay, so this is my senior art show. These are some pieces by Rainbow Bison, and then these are so this is a piece by Liz Perroni, and then this is my first corner. Um, this is called Big Chasm, and it's oil on steel, so it's actually just painted on metal. Um, it's priced at seven hundred dollars, and it's hung in such a way that it's not touching the corner at all. It's just supposed to be like a really wide panoramic scene. Um, it's a cityscape. It's based off of um, New York City. There's a lot of actual landmark buildings that are recognizable as New York. This is the Rockefeller Center, and then the um, Empire State Building, and then the MetLife Tower, and then some other ones that aren't as recognizable. But um, also, I've been telling a lot of people if they stand like right here and talk, it um, the sound reverberates back, and it'll actually like echo which was just an accident, but a nice accident. And then this is my next piece. This is called Falling Down But Floating, because I was trying to say, like, the building is falling down, but it's still not touching the ground. So, like, the building is collapsing, but it's still standing up. I mean, it's still up off the ground. Um, this is bronze cast, and it's $700. Um, it's meant to be seen in the round, but we're kind of crunched for space, so it's pushed up against one of the walls. Um, yeah. And then this is Liz Perry's thing, and there's another group of mine in the corners. I got all of the corners of galleries, because usually people don't like those. Um, Another piece of mine, this is called Rising, and this one's $600. And um, has the same kind of elements as the other one, a floating building and then clouds, and yeah. And it's priced at $600, which I'm not sure if I said or not. And then this is my next painting. This is called The Divide. Um, so it's kind of the opposite of the other one. It's a landscape instead of a cityscape. Um, this is actually the Grand Mesa, and then um, um, Mount Garfield, and the Book Lifts. So it's kind of some recognizable landmarks from the area. And then this is actually a less recognizable place because it's kind of hard to get to. <laughs> but it's called the Ribbon Trail. And so I was standing about here and taking all of these photos in kind of a wide panorama so that I would get all the information I needed. Yeah. Um, I think my favorite thing about this one is the light on it. The light's all really, really strong. And then this is my next piece. This is, oh, I'm sorry, and that one's the same price as the other one over there, $700. And it's the same size. They're both six foot by two foot. And then this is called Out of the Mist, and it's bronze cast again. It's $300, and it's obviously not very big. All of my sculptures are quite a bit smaller than that. Um, so this is kind of supposed to feel like the same kind of thing as my as my paintings. It's on a curve and it's kind of a cityscape coming out of the background, so it feels like it's coming out of the mist, which is why I named it that. Okay, and then another one of Liz Peroni paintings and then Rainbow Bison paintings and then Forest Lichtenfeld's whole for a cost installation. And then another one, Rainbow Bison's paintings. And then another corner of mine. So this is, <coughs> sorry. This is called In the Canyon. And it's, it's actually supposed to be an alleyway, but I was trying to make it feel like a, like a landscape feature instead of a cityscape. Or instead of just being a cityscape. But a lot of people actually thought it was a waterfall, which is, I guess, kind of an interesting idea. But I was meaning it to be a uh, alleyway, but I'm okay with it. I'm okay with people seeing it as a waterfall just because it was kind of supposed to be a, uh, supposed to be a cityscape that felt like a landscape anyway. And then, oh, and I'm sorry, that one is set at $400, and it's four foot by 18 inches. And then this is my big bronze sculpture. Um, this one is called And Never Touch the Ground, and it's set at $1,200. 
just because Frowns is so expensive and just the materials for this cost more than $500. So this one is supposed to be like a 3D version of the, well, of one of my paintings. So it's, again, set on a curved background to, to mirror the, the curve of the paintings. And then it's set at a 45 degree angle. So the only view you're getting is that 45 degree angle, just like my paintings. And it's got all these little bridges between the between the pieces or between the buildings and it's just kind of to help the eye move around the piece so you don't just look at one individual spot at a time. And this one's probably it's well it's about seventy pounds. Seventy two pounds I think. So this is one of the heavier pieces in the show. It's not the heaviest but it's probably close. Um, and yeah, that's my signature. Oh, I'm sorry. And there's, is there any hazes? Russian nesting dolls and like I said, forests, birdhouses. And I got all the corners. <laughs>